Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to make, you know, focus object and basically works like this, you just click stuff, right? But every time you click, you see down here, uh, you know, you can actually focus objects and do something with objects that are in your game. So this is very important for every game. Every game got something, some kind of clicking, some kind of objects that you want to, you know, focus on. And, uh, you know, this is the one way I did it. So we're going to make that and see if... You know that's of any help to you now the code is pretty simple yeah you know uh, no 2d with are focused uh, no the below it we got a two area 2d and a rigid body to the uh to the uh objects and we're gonna you know make stuff out of those you know and uh you know make it work with signals so now that you've seen all the code and how the game works technically not a game but you know focusing so let's see how we are actually making this happen so here we are, we are totally new project and we're just going to start and, uh, you know, create what we just created. So first of all, we're just going to create first uh, node 2D scene. We're going to save that scene as node 2D, save that so we have that running. We're also going to start playing it and make it, you know, select current scene. So we got that going on for us. Uh, what we need right now is two objects up here. So we're going to create first object and first object is going to be area 2D. And I'm going to show you why we're going to create, you know, two objects and not just one because there is, you know, important thing to learn from this over here. So we got area 2D and we're going to create one more, which is going to be rigid body, rigid body 2D, 2D uh, up here. So there is a reason why we're going to create two objects and not just one. And I'm going to show you that later when we uh, enter the problem that I, you know, used uh, half my day to figure out what's the problem. So we're going to save this and we're going to save this one as well. Over here, so, so there we go. We got a node, we got area 2D, and we get a rigid body. So rigid body and area 2D, that are going to be two objects, and they're going to send signals to something that we're going to call, uh, for just, you know, just doesn't matter, a uh, node, and we're going to call, uh, you know, add, uh, uh, and we're going to uh, uh, accept the signals from uh, the code in here. And the reason we're going to do that, we're going to call this focused. And the reason we're going to do that is because once we accept signals from the uh, from the nodes, we can actually do something with them. We can even store the last focused and so forth, so forth. So over here in area 2D, we need, need a couple of things. We need a sprite. We're going to add the sprite and we need a, also a collision, 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 uh, collision shape. Uh, we just, we're just going to use a regular collision shape. And the reason we need collision shape is because, you know, uh, the program needs to figure out where are we clicking and, you know, what are we clicking at. So this area 2D and rigid body got uh, a very nice, uh, very nice uh, input event that we can use to actually get this going. So we're going to do the same thing here in rigid body as well. We're going to add a sprite and we're going to add uh, where over here we're gonna add a collision uh, collision shape there we go right now we got everything set up and right now what we need is some kind of scri scripts so attach script uh, default we don't want uh, default we just no comments create we got a one script over there we are gonna probably use script up here as well add node not add a node add script where is the script there is the script we're gonna create that as well and we're gonna need a third script up here in uh, this focus node we're gonna also probably uh, we're gonna need in node 2d a script as well so we're gonna add this one create and we're gonna add here as well at the script so we got all scripts ready and we're just gonna save this uh, right now and right now everything is uh, as it should be uh, to get it going so what's gonna happen here from the start uh, from the get-go is that we need uh, some kind of spray or oh, sorry uh, we need uh, uh, go over here we're gonna need uh, add some kind of sprite up here we're gonna add our you know favorite icon up here there we go and we're also going to add collision shape to this icon so we're going to just going to rectangle we're going to zoom a little bit deep here in here to you know uh, make it nice there we go and the same thing we're going to do up here we're on the sprite we're going to use the icon because reasons and in collision shape we're just going to do a rectangular collision shape because you know it's easy it's easy we don't need to make it more complicated than it's already is right so this is basically it, uh you know when it comes to sprites and collision shapes so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go into the uh area 2d and what we're going to have here is we're going to make a signal signal and we focused and we're going to call it focused and every time we click on one of these objects what we want to happen is for signal to send something right something to happen right so already something is going to happen uh what's going to happen up here is that we're gonna uh first of all we're gonna we have to make where it 
Yes, so first thing, so first thing that we have to do is connect this object to the uh, focused uh, object. We, we, uh, we, we need to make uh, the connection, right? Or uh, precisely said, we need to make focus be connected to the object up here. So once this is created, we're going to get node up here, uh, get node from the focused object, and that's going to be in uh, root, and it's in node 2D, and it's in focused. And we're going to call a function in, in there that's been uh, going to be called connect to node and we're gonna send this node this object to that uh, uh, to the focus up here so up here there will be a function connect to node and we're gonna uh, accept the node and we're just gonna do a con uh, uh, you know simple connection node connect and up here we're gonna connect focus signal focus focus signal we're gonna Add to ourselves, and we're gonna call a function do do something do something do something. There we go. So what we, we did over here right now is that uh, we create a signal, and we just called a function inside the uh, focus node to connect uh, to connect this node to uh, to the focus signal up here. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So right now that that's done, so right now what we have up here is that the focus right now is connected to uh, to the area 2D and it's going to call the function function do something, doesn't matter what print yay there we go. So it's going to do something once we uh, once we click on that option, right? But this isn't doing anything. So we need send uh, we need to send this signal up here, and we're going to do that with what we said right now. There is this uh, uh, there is this uh, function called input event. We're going to use input event up here. So function input event. There we go. That's the input event. And up down here we're going to uh, use uh, we're going to check if the left mouse button is clicked. So we're going to say if event is action pressed and we're going to call it a left click now left click is not defined yet so we're going to define that and if it's clicked left click if left we can say left mouse button no, left mouse click doesn't matter there we go left mouse click if it's clicked we're going to you know emit the signal emit signal focus focus but not only we're going to emit signal focus but we're also going to send ourselves this uh, this object with it so we can do something with it in the do, uh, do something function so once we get over here we're gonna add the you know the node that we are sending so there we go so this over here this self thing this uh, argument will be sent over to the focus function in here and then you know it's gonna do something so yay you can say yay and you know we can add the node at the end yay node is node is there we go node is something right node is something so this already you know almost halfway done so this actually works very nicely and uh, we need the same thing up here not the uh, upper thing in the uh, in the rigid body so it's ex ex uh, exactly the same you know uh, signal focused we you know add connect this rigid body to the to the focused uh, node, uh, we got some kind of input and everything is working uh, as it should be working. So these things are working very nicely. The node up here on the focus, uh, you know, it's accepting all of the connections. Now, the thing that up here that you need to understand when you are programming in any kind of language, you know, you usually would accept this connection, put in some kind of a array or some kind of, you know, uh, some kind of other structure, you know, and then you would iterate uh, uh, through them, you know, to find the right, you know, uh, right object and so forth, so forth. But when it comes to Godot, it's a little bit different because it's a high level, you know, engine programming uh, engine. So it does all of that stuff behind, you know, behind the curtains. So you don't see it. But what it actually does every time you actually, you know, run this function, it, it, stores the connection to the signal right so you know you don't have to you know store it anywhere or anything like that so this works very well now up here in the node 2d we're going to generate you know 10 20 uh, objects up here so let's go up here uh, this is node 2d oh we actually uh, sorry 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 <laughs> we actually wrote uh, uh, this thing over here Sorry about it. We we wrote this in the wrong. This should be in the in the uh, focused 
focus script. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I was running a little bit, you know, too fast. But in the node script up here, uh, on the ready function, we're just gonna do a simple for loop. For loop e in uh, ten doesn't matter. And we're gonna add child, add child up here, and we're gonna add area instance, and we're gonna add child uh, rigid instance. Now this instance needs to be uh, preloaded, so we're gonna do uh, var area uh, equals preload. And we're gonna add what is it uh, area area to this scene there is one and variable rigid equals preload and we're gonna use uh, sorry about that it doesn't want to pop up please pop up it's not popping up okay let's do it like this up here put it in here there's too many there we go so right now what is doing is just you know looping through you know uh 10 of uh, uh 10 times through this and just adds you know a child's uh object in the game 10 of uh, area 2d and uh, 10 of rigid body instances in the game uh the problem is when you run the game right now hopefully no problems uh rigid body is falling straight down and everything is set as zero zero so you're going to change that a little bit up here uh first of all we're going to go to the rigid body up here and we're going to set the gravity to zero just so they can stay in place the second thing we're gonna do is uh, in area 2d up here we just gonna say position so you're just gonna uh, set it you know randomly around the the, the window and gonna set position equals a vector 2 and we're just gonna say rand random rand range uh, from uh, 0 to 100 and the uh, y-axis is gonna be also random range from 0 to 100 so we're gonna do this as just copy this and put it up here as well in ready and right now when you run the screen you know we should be getting oh it, it, sorry sorry uh 100 is very you know short up here so two three four five six six seven hundred or something like that i think uh up here let's say 100 doesn't matter just so it's nicely nicely spread across the screen so we can see this a lot nicer there we go 800 let's run it again and right now should be you know nicely spread across the screen so here's the thing right now i think we can start clicking up here and nothing happens so the reason nothing happens is probably because we have some kind of problem somewhere ah yes we forgot one thing left mouse click we forgot to add the left mouse click up here project settings input map uh left mouse click add and we gotta add left mouse click up here mouse button left mouse button okay okay so right now we should be able to click and uh, when we get to the uh focus up here in the script do something it should print uh, you know yeah i know this and it should give us our node down here in the console so let's try that out and we see up here there you go yeah i know this area to the and so forth so forth but let me show you something up here if you go to rigid body we are just gonna change the uh, visibility up here right, right so we can see which node is uh, which because you know uh, right now we're gonna make it a little bit darker up here so we see the difference between the area 2d and the rigid body nodes so uh, up here you got a rigid body node and this is over his uh, sorry up here is an area 2d node and this is a rigid body node so when we click this area 2d node you'll see that yeah you know this area 2d and so forth so forth so it gives you the exactly node that you need to get right but when you click on the rigid body node nothing happens and this is the reason why we made area 2d and rigid body node so why is not rigid body node uh, doing anything and this is very important because i used like a lot of time to figure this out because uh, the pr problem is on area 2d there is something called pickable see pickable and it's turned on and this is turned on by default so i was just assuming that on rigid body this would also be turned on by default, but it's not. You can see down here, it's not turned on by default. So if you're using rigid body to create something like this, and then, you know, problem comes up, and you don't know why it's not, you know, clicking, uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, it might be pickable. It might be pickable. So if you run this right now, you'll see right now that area 2D is accepting nodes as usual, but uh, the rigid body as well is accepting nodes as well. So this is right now, this is technically right now how the you know focus system is working you can click on the nodes you can get the node that you need to get and once you get that node you can do something with it right so up here in the script uh, over here yeah the node is what you can do up here for example is you know say uh, war 
current node or something like that current node and we coming up here you know if uh, current node equals you know null you know do something you know blah blah and you know else if you know it's uh, it was previous node then do something else and then you know call this function in this node call that function in that node because right now you, you get the node that you know you are you're being clicked so you can technically also do something you can just you know call node call some function in that node to do something right i mean that's that's very durable so that's basically how this uh, this you know focus system is working now i'm a little bit first of all <laughs> print node sorry about that uh, so that's basically how this you know focus system is working uh, at least the way I made it is it the best focus system ever I don't know is a better way to do it I'm uh, willing to listen to suggestions I don't actually know how to program so you know uh, or you know work with Godot so you know I'm doing my stuff but you know I use so much time you know fixing this so I thought you know maybe some people maybe some people want to know how it's done there you go hope you enjoyed this video you know check out my game I'll see you around. Bye-bye.